a child sleeps at his mother's grave, and when midnight comes, a surprise happens. The bond between mothers and their children is one of the strongest there is. It is all the sadder when that bond comes to an end far too soon. This little boy had to let his mother go forever. She fell seriously ill and fought with all her might, but did not manage to win the battle. Along with her son, she also left his father behind, and both of them struggled with great sadness for a long time. When the little boy missed his mother too much and the stress at home became too much for him, he left the house and headed for his mother's grave. What happened next is hard to believe. For the bereaved, it was a hard time. Before that, the little boy was once again lying in bed and could not sleep. His father also hardly went to bed and spent the nights in the living room. Like his son, he did not understand the world and wondered why his wife and his son's mother in particular had to go so early. She was young and fell seriously ill. Even though she did not suffer for long, unfortunately the worst happened and she died. The son asked his father why this had to happen, but he could not find an answer. The boy also could not sleep regularly. As soon as it got light, he went to his mother's grave to give her flowers and other small gifts. He kept asking his father where his mom was now. His father always answered, she is in heaven, but a piece of her is always with us too. We can't see her, but she is here and you will feel it. She is watching over you and me. But the boy wanted to see his mother and did not understand. So, one night, he lay in his bed again and could not sleep. He remembered that his mother used to come to his bedside at such moments. She would sing to him and lie with him until he fell asleep. So, he made a momentous decision. The boy made his way to his mother's grave. The boy got up and went to his father, but he had fallen asleep on the sofa. Knowing how difficult it was for his father to fall asleep, the son did not want to wake him. It was about 11 p.m. that night. So the boy went to his room, took his jacket, and then quietly left the apartment. It was clear to him he must now walk to his mother's grave. Since he could always fall asleep when she was with him, he thought to himself, Nowhere am I closer to her. Therefore, he ran to visit his mother's grave. He knew the way exactly, because he had been there many times before. Although it was not going to be any easier to find the correct way in the dark, he managed to get his bearings. He took the many alleys with flying colors, and even the darkness did not frighten him. The streets were particularly quiet today, so there was no dangers lurking here either. The brave boy wanted nothing more than to go to his mother's grave, and in any case no one would have ever been able to stop him. Again and again, however, he let himself be distracted on the way, as if he wanted to gain a little time. Despite everything, he found it difficult to go to his mother's grave. Maybe he also knew he was doing something wrong. He should not have left his father alone and gone without saying anything. The boy stopped several times along the way, looking at posters on the walls of houses and watching stray cats, but eventually he arrived at his mother's grave and sat down in front of it. It is hard to believe what happened next. As he sat there, looking at his mother's grave, he began to think. Maybe he would be able to sleep here for a bit, since he will feel his mother's closeness. After all, it used to work in the past. He looked at his mother's grave with tired eyes. He said, Mom, I can't sleep, and thought about the time he spent together with her. Again and again he saw before his eyes how his mother lay in bed with him and he fell asleep at her side. But the unbelievable happened. A bright figure emerged from behind the grave. 
This figure looked like an angel and came toward the boy. He was just tired, but suddenly wide awake. With widened eyes, he stared at the figure. Mom, is that you? And the figure answered, Don't be afraid, my son. It's me. Don't be sad because you can't see me. Your father is right. I am always with you. The boy could hardly believe his luck. He kept asking, Mom, I can't sleep. What should I do? The mother answered, Think of me because I am beside you at your side. His mother came closer and sat down next to her son. She put her hand on his shoulder. Or was it just a dream after all? Read what happened to the boy then. The boy then suddenly woke up. He had fallen asleep sitting in front of the grave, but he felt the hand on his shoulder. However, next to him sat another boy who happened to look out the window from the opposite house a few minutes ago. He saw the sleeping little boy in front of the grave and ran down to wake him up. He put his hand on his shoulder. My shoulder, my shoulder, cried the waking boy. Everything is okay, you fell asleep, said the neighbor boy. My shoulder, my shoulder. Did I hurt you? the neighbor boy asked. But the same answer always came, my shoulder, my shoulder. The neighbor boy didn't know any other way to help himself and took him up to his apartment where his father woke up from the noise. When the father saw his son helping another boy, he was not angry, but very happy and proud of how much his son was looking out for another child. What's your name, little one? the father asked. But the latter could only continue to say softly and repeatedly, My shoulder, my shoulder. They could not get the little one's name. Suddenly, however, the father recognized him. Wait, it is the son of the man from the city. I know him. He is a business partner. Fortunately, it was easy to pick out the phone number from the appointment book. They were able to call the little boy's father. When he heard about the story, he could hardly believe what had happened. My son is with you? Oh my God, I'm coming to get him. The end of the incredible story will touch you. The father immediately set out and soon arrived. When he entered the apartment, he saw his exhausted son sitting on the sofa. He immediately ran to him and took him in his arms. I'm sorry, I fell asleep. I should have been watching over you. How could you just run away? The boy looked at his father, completely overtired. The neighbor boy and his father watched the two and were silent. Then the boy came to a little and said, Dad, I saw Mom. She visited me at her grave and comforted me. The father had no choice and said, Son, it would be nice, but you must have fallen asleep and were dreaming. Both embrace each other, and the son whispered to the father, My shoulder, my shoulder. The father then stared at his son. How do you know this pet name? The little boy didn't know what his father was getting at. Your mother called me that. But you can't know that, the father added. Incredible but true. In her younger years, the deceased wife called her husband, My shoulder because he supported her to the best of his ability, and he was there for her even in the hardest times to help her and always provide a strong shoulder to hold on to. Mama told me it was Mama, the boy said excitedly to his father. The father could not believe his ears. Was it not a dream after all? Did his mother appear to comfort the son? The boy told his father the whole story. So it had to be true, because there was no such coincidence. Of all things, the son whispered his nickname in his father's ear. My son, I believe you. Let's go to the grave and then home. The father thanked the helpers and set off for home with his boy. But not before they went to the grave first and expressed their thanks to the mother with a smile. Because from then on, the father and his son knew 
she will always be by the side of the two bereaved. The father and his son went home, fell asleep, exhausted, and peaceful. This story gives us courage and hope. Do you sometimes feel like the boy and his father? We all have to say goodbye at some point and let loved ones go. Have you experienced similar things and gained new courage? Or do you know similar stories, like the one told, that make you look positively into the future? Write us everything you know in the comments. We are looking forward to it and are already curious what you have to tell.